Dorset from Wikipedia, the free encyclopedia at www.wikipedia.org. Dorset, sometimes in the past called Dorsetshire, is a county in the southwest of England on the English Channel Coast. The county town is Dorchester, centred in the south of the county at 50 degrees 43 north and 2 degrees 26 west. At the widest points, the county is 50 miles, that's 80 kilometres, from east to west and 40 miles, or 64 kilometres, from north to south, with an area of 1,026 square miles, that's 2,653 square kilometres. The county borders Devon to the west, Somerset to the northwest, Wiltshire to the northeast, and Hampshire to the east. The county is largely rural, with a low population and population density. The county motto is Who's Afeard? Dorset is famous for its picturesque coastline, the Jurassic Coast, which features unique landforms such as Lulworth Cove and the Isle of Portland, as well as the holiday resorts of Weymouth and Bournemouth. Dorset is the setting of the novels of Thomas Hardy, who was born and lived in the quiet county town. The county has a long history of human settlement and some notable archaeology, including the hill forts of Maiden Castle and Hod Hill. History This section is a summary of the article History of Dorset. The earliest recorded use of the name was in 1890 as Dorsetshire, meaning the dwellers of Dorchester, with Dorchester meaning the place of fisticuffs. The first known settlement of Dorset was by the Mesolithic hunters from around 8000 BCE. Their populations were small and concentrated along the coast in the Isle of Purbeck, Weymouth and Chessel Beach, and also along the Stour Valley. These populations used tools and fire to clear those areas of some of the native oak forest. Dorset's high chalk hills have provided a location for defensive settlements for millennia, with Neolithic and Bronze Age burial mounds on almost every chalk hill in the county, and a number of Iron Age hill forts, the most famous being Maiden Castle. The chalk downs would have been deforested in these times, making way for farmland. Dorset has many notable Roman artefacts, particularly around the Roman town of Dorchester, where Maiden Castle was captured from the Celtic Duratrigues by Vespasian in AD 54, early in the Roman occupation. Roman roads radiated from Dorchester, following the tops of the chalk ridges to the many small Roman villages around the county. In the Roman era, settlements moved from the hilltops to the valleys, and the hilltops had been abandoned by the 4th century. A large defensive ditch, Bockley Dyke, delayed the Saxon conquest of Dorset from the northeast for up to 200 years. The Doomsday Book documents many Saxon settlements corresponding to modern towns and villages, mostly in the valleys. There have been few changes to the parishes since the Doomsday Book. Over the next few centuries the settlers established a pattern of farmland which prevailed into the 19th century, as well as many monasteries which were important landowners and centres of power. In the Civil War of the 12th century, Dorset was fortified with the construction of the defensive castles at Corfe Castle, Powerstock, Wareham and Shaftesbury, and the strengthening of the monasteries such as at Abbotsbury. In the 17th century English Civil War, Dorset had a number of royalist strongholds, such as Sherborne Castle and Corfe Castle, which were ruined in the war. In the intervening years, the county was used by monarchy and nobility for hunting, and the county still has a number of deer parks. Throughout the late medieval times, the remaining hilltop settlements shrank further and disappeared. From the Tudor to Georgian periods, farms specialised and the monastic estates were broken up, leading to an increase in population and settlement size. During the Industrial Revolution, Dorset remained largely rural and still retains its agricultural economy. The Tolpod and Martyrs lived in Dorset and the farming economy of Dorset was central to the formation of the trade union movement. Geology, Landscape and Ecology This section is a summary of the article Geology of Dorset. Most of Dorset's landscape falls into two categories determined by the underlying geology. There are a number of large ridges of limestone downland, much of which were cleared of the native forest hundreds or even thousands of years ago, and are mostly grassland and some arable agriculture. These limestone areas include a band of chalk which crosses the county from southwest to northeast, incorporating Cranbourne Chase, the Dorset Downs and the Purbeck Hills. Between the areas of downland are large wide clay veils, primarily of Oxford clay with some Weald clay and London clay. These valleys have wide floodplains. The valleys are primarily used for dairy agriculture and are dotted with small villages, farms and coppices. They include the Blackmore Vale and the Froome Valley. 
South East Dorset, around Poole and Bournemouth, lies some very non-resistant Eocene clays, mostly London clay and gold clay, and sands and gravels. These thin soils support a heathland habitat which supports all seven native British reptile species. The River Froome estuary runs through this weak rock, and its many tributaries have carved out a very wide estuary. At the mouth of the estuary, sand spits have been deposited, turning the estuary into Poole Harbour, the second largest natural harbour in the world. The harbour is very shallow in places and contains a number of islands, notably Brownsea Island, famous for its Red Squirrel Sanctuary, and is the birthplace of the Boy Scouting movement. The harbour and the chalk and limestone hills of the Purbex to the south lie atop Britain's largest onshore oil field. The field, operated by BP from Witch Farm, produces a high quality oil and boasts the world's oldest continually pumping well at Kimmeridge, which has been pumping since the early 1960s, and also the longest horizontal drill, which runs for five miles and ends directly underneath Bournemouth Pier. The clay pottery produced by Paul Pottery from the local clays is famous for its high quality. Most of Dorset's coastline was designated a World Heritage Site in 2001 because of its unique geological landforms. The coast documents the entire Mesozoic era from Triassic to Cretaceous and has yielded many important fossils, including the first complete ichthyosaur and fossilised Jurassic trees. The coast also features examples of the most notable coastal landforms, including a textbook example of a cove at Lulworth and a natural arch at Durdle Door. Jutting out into the English Channel is a limestone island, the Isle of Portland, connected to the mainland by Chesil Beach at Tombolo. In the west of the county, the chalk and clay of south-east England begin to give way to the marl and granite of neighbouring Devon. Pilston Pen, the highest hill in Dorset at 909 feet, that's 277 metres, is situated here. Demographics Dorset has a population of 390,980, plus 163,444 in Bournemouth, 138,288 in Poole, making a total of 692,712. The following statistics exclude Poole and Bournemouth, which are no longer part of the administrative county. 91.3% of Dorset's population were born in England, and 95.2% were born within the United Kingdom. 98.8% are indigenous, an extreme example of the disproportionately small ethnic minority population in rural areas. 78% of the population are Christian, and 13.7% are not religious. Dorset has the second highest proportion of elderly people of any county in Britain, second only to East Sussex, with 25.9% of the population over 65, and 30.9% of the 16 to 74 age range retired. The county has the lowest birth rate of the 34 English counties, at 9.6 births per 1,000. It has the third highest mortality rate, behind East Sussex and Devon. In 1996, deaths exceeded births by 1,054, giving a natural population decline of 2.7 per 1,000. However, in 1997 there were 7,200 migrants moving to Dorset, and the Paul Bournemouth conurbation in Dorset the second highest net population growth, behind Cambridgeshire at 17.3%. Politics Dorset County Council is based at County Hall in central Dorchester. As of 2005, 23 Conservative, 13 Liberal Democrat, 4 Labour and 1 Independent Councillor sit on the County Council. All Labour councillors were elected in the built-up area of Weymouth and Portland, with rural areas returning Conservatives and Liberal Democrat councillors. This pattern is repeated at the national level. Before the dissolution of Parliament for the 2005 general election, Dorset South was represented by the Labour MP Jim Knight, though this constituency was Labour's smallest majority and is one of the most fiercely contested seats in the election. In all other Dorset constituencies, the Conservatives and Liberal Democrats are the most successful parties, with Mid Dorset and North Paul being represented by the Liberal Democrats, and West Dorset, Christchurch and North Dorset by the Conservatives. In West Dorset, the Conservative frontbencher Oliver Latwin has a small majority threatened by the Liberal Democrats who are being helped with a tactical voting campaign led by West Dorset resident and political campaigner Billy Bragg. Trade, Industry and Tourism The principal industry in Dorset has traditionally been agriculture. 
It has not, however, been the largest employer for many decades, as mechanisation has substantially reduced the number of workers required. Agriculture has become less profitable in recent years and the industry has declined further. In 2002, 1,903 square kilometres of the county was in agricultural use, down from 1,986 square kilometres in 1989, although the figure has fluctuated somewhat. Cattle, the principal animal stock in the county, fell from 240,000 to 178,000 in the same period, with dairy herds falling from 102,000 to 73,000. Sheep and pig farming has declined in a similar fashion. Tourism has grown as a major industry in Dorset since the 19th century. 4.2 million British tourists and 263,000 foreign tourists visited the county in 2002, spending a combined total of £768 million. Foreign tourism declined in 1999, 310,000 down from 410,098, and again in 2002 down from 320,000. The latter decline is blamed on the effects of global economy and security at the time. Dorset has little manufacturing industry at 14.6% of employment compared to 18.8% for the UK and is ranked 30th out of 34 English counties. The gross domestic product for the county is 84% that of the national average. Dorset people Dorset is famed in literature for being the native county of author and poet Thomas Hardy. Many of the places he describes in his novels in the fictional Wessex are in Dorset. The National Trust and Thomas Hardy's cottage in Woodland, east of Dorchester, and Max Gate, his house in Dorchester. Stalbridge was home of Douglas Adams, author of The Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy. Poet William Barnes and authors Theodore Francis Powers, John Le Carr, P. D. James and satirical novelist Thomas Love Peacock are also locals. The author John Fowles lives in Lyme Regis. Dorset is also the birthplace of the artist Sir James Thornhill, and musicians P.J. Harvey and Robert Fripp, the paleontologist Mary Anning, and Archbishops John Morton and William Wake. The explorer Sir Walter Raleigh lived in Dorset for a time. The scientist and philosopher Robert Boyle lived at Stalbridge Manor, and the singer-songwriter Billy Bragg lived in Burton Bradstock near Bridwell. Settlements There are a full list of settlements at the article List of Places in Dorset. Dorset is largely rural with many small villages, few large towns and no cities. The largest town is the south-east coastal conurbation, consisting of the seaside resort of Bournemouth, the historic port of Paul and the town of Christchurch plus many villages. The conurbation is the only settlement in Dorset that could be described as a city, although it does not legally have city status. But in the mid-19th century it was little more than a small town on Paul Quay. Bournemouth was created in the Victorian era when sea bathing became popular. It's an example of how affluent the area has become. Sandbanks in Paul was worthless land unwanted by farmers in the 19th century, but it's said to be amongst the highest land values by area in the world. Bournemouth and Christchurch were added to the county from Hampshire in the county boundary changes of 1974. The other two major settlements in the county are Dorchester, the county town, and Weymouth, one of the first tourist towns, frequented by George III and still popular. Blandford Forum, Sherborne, Gillingham, Shaftesbury and Sturmans and Newton are historical market towns which served the farms and villages of the Batmall Vale, described by Thomas Hardy as the Vale of the Little Dairies. Blandford is home to the Badger Brewery of Hall and Woodhouse. Bridport, Lyme Regis and Wareham are also market towns. Currently in construction on the western edge of Dorchester is the experimental new town of Poundbury commissioned and co-designed by Prince Charles. The suburb is designed to integrate residential and retail buildings and counter the growth of dormitory towns and car orientated development. For further reading of Dorset on Wikipedia, see the list of places in Dorset, West Country accent and a list of UK topics. References Statistics come from the Office for National Statistics 2001 Census Data and the Dorset County Council Facts and Figures. General Sources Arkle, W.J. 1978 
the geology of the country around Weymouth, Swanage, Gorf and Lulworth from the Geological Survey of Great Britain, published by Her Majesty's Stationery Office in London. Davies, GM, 1956, The Geological Guide to the Dorset Coast, 2nd edition, A and C Black, London. In 1911, Encyclopedia Britannica's article, Dorsetshire. Perkins, John W, 1977, Geology Explained in Dorset. Published by David and Charles in London. Pitt Rivers, Michael, 1968, Dorset. Published by Faber and Faber in London. Taylor, Christopher, 1970, The Making of the Dorset Landscape. Published by Hodder and Stoughton in London. West, Ian, 2004, Geology of the Wessex Coast in Southern England. Published by the Southampton University website. This article and recording are released under the GNU Free Documentation Licence.